everyone trying to find their riches brings a bit of crime. Um, but this jail actually wasn't designed to hold people for any period of time. It was actually meant to be just a bit of a stopover place, if you like. The original intent was for people to be here for about a month, but there were many people that stayed a lot longer than that, and mm. some for well over a year. Unfortunately, as the girls have um, discovered over the years, the records are really quite lean on the ground. There's not a hell of a lot recorded. Um, and what is recorded is also pretty sketchy in the sense of there's not a lot of names. It might be, you know, tall gentleman with scar on right cheek or and not really knowing much about why they're here or for how long that they were here. So the idea was that people would stay here for a period of time, almost like a remand centre. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, the, the coach or the, the um, carrier would come and take them and take them to the bigger jails like John. So um, that was essentially the, the fundamental purpose of the jail. Um, it's quite a unique jail in the sense that it was designed um, essentially with one major sort of surrounding area and then the cells and the, and the rooms that people used were sort of coming off the centre of it. Um, there is a, where's the Monument Hill? The, the Monument Hill is yeah. in Kilmore and that would have, would have been a century tower just here. Yeah. And Funnily enough, the Century Tower was here, but this is the wall that most of the jailbreaks were from. So uh, the Century Tower was moved, um, I think, by like some veterans in the 1960s. So it was built pretty much how it was here and moved up to Monument Hill. So it stands up the top of Monument Hill today. So that was, a, that was designed for, obviously, the, the, the head jailer, of which there would have only been one, um, caring for whoever was in this environment at the time. Um, males and females, and sometimes children, were actually held here. Um, and from a female and children perspective, that was usually due to, um, I suppose, being destitute. So the husbands have gone off to the, the gold fields, um, perhaps being injured or not ever returned. Mum doesn't have any way of you know, providing for her and the children, and so they were brought into the jail almost like from a vagrancy, sort of homelessness sort of point of view, um, which is often pretty, you know, pretty sad to think yeah. about. The jail also didn't have uh, any heating or cooling. Um, it, had, it, it didn't have any sort of sewerage, if you like. This is one of the toilets um, over here, and when we go into what we refer to as the, the rock room, you'll see another one in the corner. I don't know if Jack, Jackson Alley has said to you that um, it's not unusual for um, men to sort of stand there and simulate using the bathroom or in the <laughs> urinal, if you like, um, for us to get kids in that area as well. Um, I can't remember when it turned into a bathroom. Uh, it was shut in uh, 1883. Yep. It lay dormant, dormant for about nine years, so they actually didn't quite know what to do with it. They sort of said at one point, oh, we could use it for, like, oh, was it homeless or old people? Yeah. But then they, they said, oh, no, but it's, it's actually, like, quite substandard. So it lay dormant, and um, then uh, was nine years later, the butter factory bought it for, a, like, a pittance. Yeah. Uh, and unfortunately, with, obviously, the butter factory buying it, a lot of a lot of the well, all the cells we've still got one cell but all the cells were ripped out for we'll go through and keep yeah. 